What's up people, my name's Sean Reynolds, welcome back to the Ditto Music channel. Today we're talking about Instagram and how you can level up your following fast. Roll the title! But first things first, if you're watching this video, then the likelihood is that you make music. If you're trying to get your music out there and distribute it to places like Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Instagram, all these places, Ditto could be your answer. We have a 30 day free trial so you can try it before you buy it and you get to keep 100% of your royalties. Make sure you check out the link in the description box below. Anyway. Back to the video. So Instagram, one of the biggest social media platforms and one of the best ways to build and maintain an audience. But how do you do that? I'm gonna break it down into eight simple steps and we're gonna do it together because I've just set up a new artist account and I'll take you through some of the steps as I go. Step one. Optimize your Instagram profile. So Instagram has a plethora, a plethora, yes, a plethora of different tools that you can use to promote yourself and your music through your profile. So I'll go through some of those features now as I'm setting up this new profile. So first of all, I would recommend switching to a professional account. This will give you access to Instagram insights, which is good for maintaining your audience and also access to certain creative tools that aren't available on a basic account. We can then select musician and band, display on profile, done. Your profile visuals are the first impression people are gonna get when they visit your page. And if they've seen a piece of content online which has made them click on your page in the first place, you need to give them a reason to hit that follow button. So let's set a profile photo. Here we go. Now let's write a short bio. Crafter of the chillest lo-fi beats around. Add music to your profile. Now if you've got music out there already, you can search for it up here and then choose a song to highlight. And there we have a pretty simple looking profile. Make sure you take your time over writing your bio. Make sure you're describing yourself and your music in the best way possible that's gonna catch people's attention. When you're trying to attract new fans and followers, you need to make things as simple and as easy as possible for them so that when they come to your profile, your new track is at the top. Your call to action is right there. What do you want these people to do when they visit your profile page? One little tip that I found out recently is that hashtags in your bio and in your description are useless. Save them for the posts. Other than that, as long as your profile page accurately represents your brand and your music, you're good to go. Step two, make sure you're putting out high quality content. Now I would say in the current state of social media, attention spans are at rock bottom. They are the lowest of the low. People are looking at short form content more than grid posts. Now, as far as statistics go, stories and short form videos are the way forward. Consider your grid as a gallery wall of who you are as an artist, what you get up to, and what makes you, you. It's another way of presenting yourself to people that visit your page. So bear that in mind when you're creating your plan of what you're gonna post. Instagram is an extremely visual platform, so make sure whatever you're posting, whether it is to your grid, to stories, or to reels, make sure everything looks great and follows a similar theme throughout. Step three. Engage with your audience. Engaging with your followers is crucial, whether that's responding to comments, asking questions, or creating interactive content. The more you engage with your audience, the more likely they are to stick around and also share your content with others. Another great way to interact and create a bond and relationship with your audience is by going live. And Instagram has proven itself to be an extremely powerful live streaming tool. Whether you're live streaming getting ready before you play a show, or whether you're live streaming the show itself, having regular hangouts where you can really let your audience get to know you on a more personal level, face to face, helps to create a deeper bond that will stand the test of time. Step four, collaborate with other users. Collaboration can be one of the most effective ways to grow on Instagram and that is because effectively you are sharing followers with someone else within your niche that may have more followers than you currently. Of course there is the element of you need to know these people first, it's not going to be very easy just to reach out to random people if they don't know you and persuade them to do a collaboration with you, so networking is going to be very important here. And a great networking event to go to to meet like-minded people is Ditto X Meet the Music Industry, which happens every single year. Now, the best way to collaborate on Instagram is either by just tagging each other in the content that you upload or by using the Invite Collaborators option in the tag window. By using the Invite Collaborator feature, this will upload the same piece of content to both of your accounts, which not only means do you get to share the outreach of their followers, you also get to share all the love as well. Step five, posting at optimal times. 
Now, by setting our account to a professional account, which we did in step one, it means you get access to Instagram analytics, which can tell you some really interesting stuff. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom of my follower insights, it will tell me the most active times of my followers. Now, as you can see day by day, there doesn't seem to be a real difference. But if you look at the hours, you can see that people are most active between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., which might indicate that it's a great time for me to post. Step six, utilize stories and reels. Now, as I mentioned all the way back in step two, attention spans of people, it's pretty low. You need to get people as soon as they start watching your content because let's face it, there are a lot of fish in the sea. And unfortunately, gone are the days of posting a picture of your hot dog legs looking at a nice picturesque beach scene dead in the water. You need to up your game, get creative. All of my friends that have dedicated more of their time to stories and reels have seen a massive increase in growth on Instagram. And do some research, and it doesn't even have to be research within your niche. If anything, that's the wrong way to go because people are already doing it. Jot down a few things that catch your attention and then implement them within your own content. That way the foundation of the content is built around your own personal interests. Step seven. Giveaways and competitions. Now, giving away free stuff definitely attracts people and they might follow you for a short time, but they won't be dedicated. The idea is that you attract people with your giveaways and competitions and then once they're here, you try and make them solid fans after the fact. And you can use services like Gleam.io or Viral Sweep to help run the campaign for you. Because one of the most difficult things to do on Instagram and any other social media platform is to attract people in the first place by appeasing that dreaded algorithm. It just so happens that giving away free stuff gets people's attention. But with this particular tactic, getting people's attention isn't gonna be your main struggle. Turning those same people into long-term fans, that's where the struggle is. Step eight, pay close attention to your insights. Your insights don't only tell you the best time to post, they also tell you what's working and what's not. It might be really difficult, but sometimes you're gonna have to say goodbye to the ideas that just aren't working, even if you've put a lot of time and energy into them. My suggestion would be to write down 10 ideas that you're gonna start with. Shoot all 10 out over the course of a week and see which ones work best with your audience. Then keep producing similar content that will engage with them best. And when you think about it, it's a pretty simple science. By utilizing your Instagram, insights, you're basically letting the audience decide the content you make. Of course, you can't rely on this and your ideas could become stale if you repeat them too much. So in the process of creating content that your audience is clearly engaging with, consistently try to throw new ideas into the mix so you can keep things fresh and exciting. So let's summarize real quick. Step one, optimizing your Instagram profile. Make sure that everybody's first impression is a good one. Step two, always high quality content speaks for itself. Step three, probably the most important one, engage with your audience. You need to nurture them like little seedlings into the giant trees of ticket buying. Step four, collaborate with others. Share the following of people in your niche. You know, like a leech. Step five, posting at optimum times by utilizing your Instagram insights. Step six, put a lot of your creative time into stories and reels. This is where people hang around on Instagram most. Step seven, potentially host a giveaway or a competition to attract those initial followers then you gotta try and make them stay. And step eight, don't get complacent. Analyze your insights and stay ahead of the curve. Try a few ideas and go with the ones that work best. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help. Also consider subscribing to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. I wish you all the best of luck growing your Instagram following. Remember, consistency is key. My name's Sean Reynolds. I'll see you again soon for another video. Peace.